Hi, I'm Scott and it's Azure Friday. Uh, so far we've deployed from Git and GitHub. I've still got my GitHub application and we saw before we had custom deployment scripts and I could see the logging that happens when the site's being deployed. What about when the site's running? What kind of logging options do I have available? Well, if your application uses uh, standard .NET logging, there are various ways that you can get at those logs in Azure. So the simplest one is to use FTP and just download the files. Okay. And we can look at that, and then we can get fancier. There's also a way that you can stream those logs as they happen. Okay, very cool. So I am just doing regular tracing. This is just system.diagnostics.trace. Uh, nothing fancy about this. This is the same tracing we've used in ASP.NET since the very beginning. Yes. And you plug in trace listeners. Usually I do things like Elma, or I make a text trace listener. Is there right. an Azure trace listener? Yes. So the, the, the beauty is that it's registered on the Azure side. You don't need to change anything to your own web config. It's you know registered in machine config uh, on the machine where the code runs. Ah. So by default, the tracing is off. But if you turn it on, you start getting uh, this feature. Oh, this is cool. So then I don't have to change my web config or do anything. That's right. And I'm yes. used to my configuration options in ASP.NET kind of cascading. There's machine-wide and application hosts. Yes. Azure is going to override web config yes. using my config yes. settings. Okay. So here I've got uh, sample error, sample warning, and sample info. This is the website over here. And I'll just hit refresh a few times and take a look at that. And then uh, if I go into the dashboard for that and scroll down a little bit, over here in the corner we've got that deployment user, and it says deployment slash FTP. It's the same user I used mm -hmm. for Git. That I yes, get the log except files for, for Git, it would simply be Scott. Mm -hmm. For FTP, we use the uh, the it's the domain name, domain name. and Scott. Yes. Okay, and I've got choices on FTP or FTPS, and I can just go and say slash log files. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll put that into the clipboard, and I'm going to go over to uh, FileZilla. This is my file uh, FTP of choice, and we'll go and connect. There we go, and it came in. This is from GitHub slash Scott. So we've got slash log files and slash git. So this is kind of that git repository. This is Kudu, actually. Yes, this is Kudu yes, yes. Artifacts. That's right. Git is stuff that is produced at the time you git push and use other Kudu features. Okay. Application log is in application. All right. So then here is uh, a text file. Now, I wonder if I went, it looks like it's about 2K here. If I just go and hit refresh a couple of times. I'm just kind of trying to generate some right. log. Right, and hit a 5 here as well. And come back over here. Can I refresh yes, that? Yes, yes. Oh, so it's bigger now. It's yep. 3K. All right, so let's open that up. I'm just going to right click and say View Edit and uh, discard any text files I have locally. And that's got the process ID. And here we go. There's all that info warning, info warning that I've got right there. Right. Uh, so I could put any logging I've already got, any existing apps that have logging, it's all going to show up there. That's correct, yes. Okay. And I know that I can go into Azure Websites Configure, and this is where I turn this on and off. Down here, Past Deployments, I can turn it on and off. That FTP option, that's the file system. I'm really accessing mm -hmm. text files yes, off yes. the file so system. By default, it would be off. You had to turn it on uh, actually as a byproduct of, of trying the streaming, but it is off by default. Mm -hmm. Uh, so then I've got logging level, so then I can change it to verbose, change it to information, whatever level that I want. Uh, and then I can also put it in Azure Storage. Yes. I assume that would be for really large sites where I'm putting out megabytes of Yes, of and, and storage is kind of interesting because uh, currently when you do storage, it actually goes in an Azure table. Mm -hmm. We're also working on uh, making it available to go in a blob. Mm -hmm. And Blob is particularly interesting if you want to do Hadoop-like analysis. If you get a lot of Blobs for a very big sites, ah. um, that can plug into uh, Hadoop very well. And I can do also web server logging. Let's turn that on. Uh, so I could say I want web server logging, maybe detailed error messages, lots of things that could yes. potentially go wrong. Yes. Uh, so <laughs> I just switched uh, to verbose. Hit save, and now is this going to restart my site, or are we just modifying the? Um, I believe if you just change the logging level, it won't restart your site. Mm -hmm. Some of the other options that you tweak Probably may did. restart mm -hmm. the site because they affect uh, IIS. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I suppose if I change some big thing like turning system-wide error tracing yes. on, yes. it might restart. So let me uh, hit this a few times and go back over here and do an F5. 
Now, uh, interesting, I turned on web server tracing and suddenly a new folder appeared. Right. These are the HTTP logs. Okay. And I've got those raw logs. Yes. So if you ever use the IIS, this is the standard stuff that you use to sing. And this is a regular IIS log standard format. Exactly. And I could use log lizard or yes. log parser to, to deal with that. And then going back over here, my that uh, looks like I've got two now. There's my newer. So it looks like it kind of chunks those. Yes, yes, it doesn't grow indefinitely. All right. And then I've got all, all sorts of information. Oh, and look, I've even got information from uh, some other assemblies yes. that, because yes. I turned on verbose. Yes, and, and you did something that restarted the site. So mm -hmm. it rerun like the start sequence for the site, which is probably where this came from. Very cool. All right. So I've got all the capabilities that I, I would have expected from tracing in Azure. Uh, I've got, I can go to storage, I can go to text files, I can go to Azure tables. Yes. Very cool. It's Azure Friday. Thank mm -hmm. you.